so let's start the chemical properties of alcohols so let's start with the discussion of alcohols versatile nature alcohol is a versatile compound okay alcohol is termed as one of the versatile compound okay and why it is considered as a versatile compound because it can behave both as a electrophile as well as a nucleophile so alcohol as a nucleophile how it will react as a nucleophile or how it will behave as a nucleophile in this reaction in the nucleophilic reaction the oh bond breaks okay the bond between the oxygen and hydrogen here it breaks so for example we can see this is a alcohol and here it will attract towards a carbocation and hence will behave as an nucleophile it will behave as an nucleophile and the oxygen here it will attract towards this carbocation it will form a compound like this okay so here due to positive charge being developed on oxygen here this hydrogen will get repelled out here it will get repelled out here and the electrons the electrons will be attracted okay the hydrogen will lose its electron here and it will release out as an hydronium ion and the compound here it will be formed out like this that is roc okay plus h plus will be released out here so hence here alcohol is acting as a nucleophile okay it is acting as a nucleophile while alcohol can act as electrophile also okay it can act as an electrophile also so here the breaking of the bond between carbon and oxygen will take place and due to this reason it will be acting as an uh, electrophile so what will happen here let us say an example of an ale aliphatic alcohol is there there on protonation okay on protonation what will happen the formation of protonated alcohol okay the formation of protonated alcohol will take place due to protonation here so when when a reagent okay a reagent comes here in front of the protonated alcohol here due to presence of plus charge okay the electron from the uh, the electron uh, from the bond between the carbon and oxygen will be broken out here okay will be broken out here due to heterolytic uh, separation okay due to heterolytic uh, separation and here the reagent will attach to the carbon atom here. okay so here we will see that the carbon and oxygen bond for an alcohol here is been broken in order to complete the electrophilic reaction so here the compound that is the alcohol is reacting as an electrophile here okay it is acting as an electrophile so due to this nature that uh, oxygen uh, sorry uh, alcohol can act as both as an electrophile or as a nucleophile it is been termed as a versatile compound okay the alcohol is been termed as a versatile compound so we are going to see here three different types of reactions the first reaction is reaction involving cleavage of oxygen hydrogen bond 
the second is the reactions involving cleavage of carbon oxygen bond and the third is the reactions involving both the alkyl and hydroxyl group so both the alkyl and hydroxyl groups so let's start with the first reaction that is the reactions between reactions in which cleavage of cleavage of oxygen hydrogen bond will take place okay so here the first reaction is reaction of alcohol with reaction of alcohol with active metals with active metals okay so alcohols the general equation will form here the alcohols are reacting with active metals to form metals uh, okay they are forming here the metal salt uh, metal alkoxides okay metal alkoxides and hydrogen gas is been released out okay and here the metals can be here the metals can be active metals such as sodium potassium magnesium aluminium etc the reactive metals okay they can be replacing the hydrogen here okay here to form the metal alkoxides so here we can take the example let us say ethanol is reacted with sodium metal so here sodium will replace the hydrogen from the ethanol to form sodium alkoxide sodium ethoxide plus hydrogen okay similarly ethanol can be reacted with magnesium metal to form ch3ch2oh twice magnesium that is magnesium ethoxide magnesium ethoxide with the hydrogen gas if i am taking tertiary alcohols okay i am taking an example for a tertiary alcohol here that is 2 methyl 2 methyl sorry 1 methyl 1 uh, 1 dimethyl hexane okay 1 1 dimethyl hexanol i have taken an example here which is reacting with aluminium here then the compound will be okay the compound which is formed out here it will be 1 methyl uh, propane 1 or here is there okay so here the compound will be aluminium tertiary butoxide okay aluminium tertiary butoxide with the 3h2 gas will be released out okay so this is the reaction here 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 if we are going to see the reaction then we will find out that the bases which are used here 
okay what they are doing they are attacking on they are behaving as an uh, they are attacking on the hydrogen of the alcohol and here alcohol is releasing the h plus ion so hence it is acting as a base okay the metals which are generally the bases they are act, uh, attacking on the hydrogen there to form the uh, to form the um, alkoxide ion there okay they are forming the alkoxide ion with a minus charge here okay because the three lone pair of electrons are there and conjugate acid is formed out here that is bh okay conjugate acid is being formed out here now on the further we can see that on reacting alkoxide with water again on reacting alkoxide ion with the water again we will obtain alcohol which is an conjugate acid for the alkoxide ion okay so here we can see that water is a better proton donor than alcohol in other words we can say that water here we can see that water is stronger acid than alcohol water is stronger acid than alcohol by the above reaction we have stated that the water can uh, donate the hydrogen the proton to alcohol to form uh, the alkoxide ion okay this is alkoxide ion so water is donating hydrogen ion to the hydrogen atom to the alkoxide ion okay to form conjugate acid here that is alcohol again so here water is having more acidic nature as comparison to that of the alcohols okay so hence we can say that this means that alkoxides are strong base than hydroxide ions okay so we can say that alkoxide ions alkoxide ions are stronger bases than the hydroxide ions okay they are stronger bases as comparison to that of the hydroxide ions so this is the reason why we are seeing here that the alkoxides are having more so what is the reason for that the water is having more acidic nature so here the reason is that the oxygen is highly electronegative okay and due to this reason it will attract the paired electron shared electron of uh, hydrogen towards it and due to this reason what will happen the chances of releasing of this h ion increases similarly in case of alcohol we will see that the electrons will be repelled or it will be attracted towards the oxygen by both the alkyl group also and from the hydroxide group uh, from the hydrogen group also okay so due to this reason the chances of removal of hydrogen here decreases as comparison to that of the water there because the alkyl group is also containing hydrogen and due to this reason the electrons will be uh, from both that that is from the alkyl also and from the hydrogen group also will be attracted towards the oxygen and due to this reason the chances of removal of hydrogen here decreases as comparison to that of the water now comparing the acidic strength for the primary secondary and tertiary alcohols so primary alcohol for primary alcohol if we are going to see here then r c h h o h secondary alcohol r c r h o h and for tertiary alcohol r c r r oh okay so here we will see that we are going to uh, see that the electron density the electron density in the case of primary alcohol okay it will be higher okay the electron density on the oxygen it will be higher in case of the primary alcohol in the case of primary alcohol while in the case of secondary alcohol we will see that the electron density okay the electron density on the oxygen will decrease okay it will decrease due to increase in the negative charge of the carbon here okay due to the 
uh, steric hindrance due to the two uh, alkyl groups here the steric hindrance will decay increase and the uh, carbo anion will be formed out here due to which, which reason we will see that the uh, electron density on oxygen will decrease out but in the case of but in the case of uh, tertiary alcohol we will see that there is more uh, less uh, electron density on the oxygen due to presence of three alkyl groups here. so due to this reason what will happen what will happen we will see here that we will experience here that the primary alcohols are having more acidic nature as comparison to that of the secondary alcohol and secondary alcohols are having more acidic nature as comparison to that of the tertiary alcohol Similarly, the basic nature will be just opposite to this. Okay, the basic nature of the alkoxide ion will be just opposite to this. The tertiary alkoxide ions, the tertiary alkoxide ions will be having more basic nature as comparison to that of the secondary alkoxide ions. Okay, and the primary alkoxide ions will be having the least basic nature as comparison to that of the secondary alkoxide ions okay so hence this is the acidic property for the alcohol next let's discuss the reaction of alcohol with metal hydrides metal hydrides so metal hydrides reacts with alkoxide ions to form hydrogen gas okay they form the um, so uh, metal oxides metal alkoxides to form the hydrogen gas there okay so for example if i am taking methanol which is reacting with sodium hydroxide sorry sodium hydride so it will form with uh, sodium methoxide sodium methoxide with hydrogen gas similarly if i am taking ethanol which is reacted with sodium hydride it will form sodium ethoxide sodium ethoxide with hydrogen gas okay Next is the reaction of alcohol, reaction of alcohol with carboxylic acid, with carboxylic acid. And this particular reaction is also termed as esterification. Okay, so here alcohols reacts with reacts with monocarboxylic acid. Monocarboxylic acids in the presence of in the presence of concentrated H2SO4 or dry HCl gas as catalyst to form ester okay to form ester so here the monocarboxylic acids will be reacting with the alcohols to form the esters here as a dry HCl or concentrated H2SO4 as an uh, H2SO4 as an catalyst here. This particular reaction this is called this is called esterification. It is termed as esterification reaction. Okay. So here the reaction the general reaction will be when rcooh is reacting with alcohol 
in the presence of concentrated H2SO4, RCOOR dash plus H2O will be formed. Okay, so here the removal of water will take place and we will uh, form a ester here. Okay, a ester will be formed out here. So, for example, we can take an example CS3COOH that is acetic acid reacting with ethanol. So, here in the presence of concentrated H2SO4, a reversible reaction will take place producing CS3COOC2H5 plus H2O that is ethyl ethanoate ethyl ethanoate okay or we can call it as also ethyl acetate okay so here the reaction is reversible in nature and the equilibrium can be shifted toward the forward direction by removing water as soon as possible as soon as possible if we are removing the water the forward direction of the reaction can be maintained out there okay so there there we can use hcl gas dry hcl gas as an catalyst also and then this reaction will be termed as when dry hcl gas is being used dry hcl gas is used as catalyst here catalyst then it is termed as it is termed as fischer speyer esterification Fischer Speyer esterification. Okay. Now here the reactiveness of the compound. Okay. Reactiveness for the alcohol will be the lower alcohols. Okay. The lower primary alcohols will be having more reactiveness towards the carboxylic acid as comparison to the higher. molecular mass primary alcohols okay as comparison to the higher molecular mass primary alcohols the lower molecular mass primary alcohols will be having more uh, reactiveness towards the esterification reaction similarly the carboxylic ions the carboxylic acids the lower carboxylic acids will be having more reactiveness to the esterification reaction as comparison to that of the higher molecular compounds okay so next let's see the next reaction that is the reaction of alcohols with Grignard's reagent Grignard's reagent so here the general reaction will be roh plus r dash mgx will give here alkane formation will take place okay here alkane formation will take place and Magnesium halide, okay. Magnesium halide will be combined with the oxy alkoxy group, okay. It will combine with the alkoxy group to form magnesium alkoxy halide, okay. Magnesium alkoxy halide will be formed out. So, here we can take an example CS3OH that is methanol reacted with C2H5MgBr. Okay, so here formation of ethane will take place, C2H6 and CS3O, MgBr that is magnesium 
methoxy magnesium bromide will be take place. Okay. Now let's see here the next reaction. The next reaction is reaction of alcohol with acyl chloride or acid anhydride acyl chloride or acid anhydride okay so when alcohols are treated with when alcohols are treated with acid chlorides okay when they are treated with acid chlorides or acid anhydrides acid anhydrides in the presence of in the presence of bases like pyridine or dimethyl aniline dimethyl aniline then the hydrogen atom atom of the alcohol group is replaced by the acyl group forming ester here okay forming ester here. so this reaction is termed as acylation reaction okay it is termed as acylation reaction so for taking an example here if i am taking ethanoyl chloride ethanoyl chloride so on reacting ethanoyl chloride with alcohol that is ethanol the hydrogen will break out with the chlorine here to form hcl and the acyl group here will combine with the oxy part okay ethoxy part of the alcohol to form a ester which is ethox ethyl ethanol ethyl ethanol or ethyl ethyl acetate okay so this reaction is called acetylation reaction this is ac sorry acylation sorry it's not acetylation acylation reaction if the acid halide or anhydride used are acetyl chloride and acetic anhydride here the reaction is usually called acetylation okay if we are using acetyl chloride or acetic anhydride then it will be acetylation reaction okay the reaction can be termed as then acetylation reaction but here we are using acyl chloride okay therefore it will be termed as acylation okay acylation so these were the reactions for the reaction where the breaking of the bond between oxygen and hydrogen was in involved so for today i am concluding the class here only and in the next class we are going to see the reactions of the alcohols where the carbon and oxygen bond will be breaking out okay and there we will discuss about the different chemical reactions which were involving the reaction of the alcohol where carbon and oxygen bond is breaking out so for today i am ending the class here only we will meet in the next class thank you